coming here today to visit us. I'm Morris Larson. And I'm his sister, Olive Gunhild Larson Paschke. We were born in Ephraim, up behind Maple Grove Road, on the family farm. My name is Anna Margareta Hansen Anderson, but you can call me Greta. I am best known as Greta Anderson. I was born in Norway on December 15th in 1843. My name is Helen Hepner Soans. I was born in Maple. I had a new car at that time, and I found out really quickly why the last teacher had left her teaching position in Ephraim. There were some rowdy boys, and they pushed me right to the limit. They pelted my car with rotten apples every day, and they put tacks on my chair every day, and they jumped out the windows before class was over, and they let the air out of my tires. And you know I contained myself very well, and I didn't say a word, and pretty soon they stopped. And then years later, I asked them why they stopped doing that, and they said it wasn't any fun anymore because I never got mad. They took us to the port of Milwaukee, and there yet we boarded another ship for the trip north. Nice to have my sister Thanks, Nettie living so close by. And since we were sisters who married brothers, we couldn't keep many secrets from our husbands, and they couldn't keep many secrets from us. Music and singing, especially the Swedish folk songs of my youth, were very, very important to me. Some of my fondest memories are of singing these songs dressed in a traditional handmade costume of uh, Sweden. A festival of this character, you know, it would take go uh, in the neighborhood of $10,000 to put on a festival like this. Now remember, this was 1950 when I was talking to Thor about this. But anyway, I wasn't deterred. I decided that uh, go back to to Door County, to Ephraim, and uh, look up my friend Kay, Kay Wilson, because she was um, very involved in the Peninsula Arts Association. And the Peninsula Arts Association, um, she was on the board, and she was also chair of the music committee. So I approached Kay. When Kay mentioned $10,000, Kitty got up out of her chair, raised her hands and said, $10,000, that's impossible. Well, it was not impossible thanks to Kay because by December 31st, 1952, Kay Wilson had commitments of $10,000 for the first music, music in public schools in Hibbing, Minnesota, and also in Highland Park for 10 years. Let's take a moment and remember our own grade school music teacher and think of the hard work and patience they Anna had. and Greta, two sisters, would later marry two brothers, <laughs> Malvern and Aslak Anderson, right here in Ephraim. Well, we finally arrived in America. 